Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'm a games engineer at Intel. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Intel RealSense plugin for Unreal Engine 4, which gives Unreal developers access to the features of the RealSense SDK. Enjoy! In this video, we're going to create a new Unreal Engine 4 project and add the RealSense plugin to it. The minimum version required is 4.8 because it features the procedural mesh component, which is used by a few of the RealSense modules. To begin, let's launch a new project, and we're going to create a C++ code project uh, just so that we have the ability to edit in Blueprint or in C++ if we prefer. Go ahead and select C++, and we can do a basic code project. I'm not going to need any of the starter content, so we can leave that out, and I'm just going to name this RealSense Tutorial. This is going to take a minute to create, so while this goes, let me explain a little bit about the RealSense plugin architecture. It's made up of a series of components, each of which expose a different set of features from the RealSense SDK. Some of these include things like 3D scanning, head tracking, augmented reality, and they all share a single session manager, which gathers all of the RealSense data together and shares it among all of the components which is really cool because it gives you the ability to add more than one component uh, to different objects in your scene, and they'll all share the same state of the same camera. Now that we have the editor window open, if you go to the top, you'll see the Window tab, and inside of there, you can open up the Plugins window. Uh, the default plugins are all listed here that are built into the engine. It includes things like analytics, um, virtual reality, uh, so we're going to close the project, add the RealSense in, and then look in this window again and see that we've got it. So let's just close the Unreal project. Uh, it also opened the Visual Studio solution because we created a code project, so we can close that too. And let's open up our file browser to find our tutorial project. So you'll notice that there is no plugins folder in this project to to start. So we'll create a brand new one, and we'll call it Plugins. And if you've already downloaded the source code, there is a getting started guide that walks you through how to build the plugin and use the sample project. This directory here is just what I've pulled down from the Git repository. And so you'll notice that this project also has a Plugins folder in here. Uh, is where you'll find the RealSense plugin that you want to use. So from this starter project, grab the plugin, you can copy it, and then you want to paste it into your tutorial project, into the plugins folder. If we look into the plugin folder, you'll see that uh, it's been built, so it's got the binaries and all of the source code. You can leave it as is if you want, but if you want to reduce the total size of the plugin in your game that you're going to ship, you can go ahead and get rid of the intermediate files uh, as well as the source. You'll need to leave the build script so that the editor can open up the plugin when you start it. So without further ado, we can open our RealSense tutorial project. So just like before, we can look in the Plugins window. And you'll see that in addition to all the built-in plugins, we have a new one under our project called RealSense. And it's enabled by default. Thank you for watching. For more information, you can go to software.intel.com RealSense or check out the links in the description below.